Welcome to a proof of the alternate exterior angles converse. This theorem states that if two lines are cut by a transversal and alternate exterior angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. So if angle one is congruent to angle eight, or angle two is congruent to angle seven, the two lines would be parallel. And we want to prove this theorem. The proof of this theorem is based upon the corresponding angles converse postulate which states that if two lines are cut by a transversal and corresponding angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. Remember, a postulate does not have to be proved. It's assumed to be true. So we're going to use this postulate to prove the alternate exterior angles converse. So here's our proof. Transversal T cuts L and M, and we're given that angle one is congruent to angle eight. So this angle here is congruent to this angle here. So let's talk about our strategy. Our ultimate goal is to get corresponding angles congruent, and therefore we can use the corresponding angles converse postulate. So looking at our diagram, we have two options. Notice that angle five and angle eight are vertical angles and therefore congruent, as well as angles one and four. So using the fact that vertical angles are congruent, we can state that corresponding angles would be congruent and therefore the lines would be parallel. So let's go ahead and give it a try. We'll start by stating the given information. T cuts L and M with angle one congruent to angle eight. Let's go ahead and use angle five and angle eight as our vertical angles. We can say that angle eight is congruent to angle five, and our reason is that vertical angles are congruent. And this falls into place very quickly because now we can use the transitive property to state that angle one is congruent to angle five. Again, notice how if angle one is congruent to angle eight and angle eight is congruent to angle five, these are connected and we can state that angle one is congruent to angle five. Again, our reason is the transitive property. And if angle one is congruent to angle five, angle one and angle five are corresponding angles, and therefore line L is parallel to line M. This is by the corresponding angles converse postulate. And we have our proof. I hope this was helpful.